Hi everybody, I'm Simon and in today's video we're going to be taking you through the benefits of our supercharger chiller kit and why you should install one to your 3 litre or 5 litre supercharged JLR engine. So let's get straight into it and start talking about what the chiller kit actually is, what it does and the benefits of it. So essentially what the supercharger chiller kit does is it super cools your coolant before it goes into the supercharger. So we know we've got charge coolers on the video and you may have seen one of our videos of our improved upgraded supercharger cooler that we fit to vehicles adds 25 percent thicker cooler unit to the vehicle to try and reduce those charge temperatures a little bit more well this is the next level of cooling what we do is we take the coolant before it goes to the supercharger so it's been through your radiator it's been through your charge cooler coolant is then plumbed and piped and flowed through this supercharger chiller kit comes out the other end into your coolant pump if you've got an upgraded one, obviously it flows a little bit faster, a little bit better, which helps reduce the heat soak into the coolant a little bit more. If you haven't got one, check out our uprated supercharger cooler pumps on our site. So once it's gone through the pump, it then goes straight into the, the coolers in the actual supercharger itself. Now the cooler we can get that coolant in there, so the lower the temperature of the coolant when it goes in there, the better thermal properties it's got. The colder that coolant, the more heat it can pull from the supercharger, thus keeping the supercharger at a lower operating temperature. Now, the lower the temperature we can get the supercharger to, the more efficient it's going to work, the less heat gets transferred into the actual air that comes through the charger. So as it's compressing and it's building that pressure through the intake manifold, the lower the temperature, the denser the air, and ultimately the bigger combustion and the more power and performance we've got. One of the big benefits of this on top of the performance side is the actual longevity of that charger itself. Now, if anyone's familiar with a, a dyno or a rolling road or anyone's done any track days or even quarter mile runs in their car, you'll know that heat soak, that's basically when heat starts to build up in all of the components, will affect your performance. Two or three runs on a dyno or rolling road, a couple of back-to-back -back quarter mile runs or 10, 15 minutes on a track, you'll notice your lap times may start to drop slightly your performance figures will start to drop on the dyno and ultimately your quarter mile times will start to get a little bit slower as heat starts to build in all of the components. Now the ECU is a very clever thing and it starts to back various parameters off to look after itself, to protect the engine. So before it gets too hot, before your supercharger and intake air temps get too hot, it will start to reduce the timing, it will start to pull the throttle back and maybe even open your supercharger bypass valve to let some of that pressure bypass the charger, reducing the strain and temperatures on the engine. With this supercharger chiller kit, by reducing those coolant temperatures, by reducing your supercharger intake temps, what we're actually doing is keeping that maximum performance for much longer. We've done back-to-back -back 15 to 20 dyno runs before we've seen any performance drop on the car during testing. We know on track days this elongates the performance of the vehicle for another 15 to 20 minutes in certain scenarios. And likewise with quarter mile runs, it allows you to do more tests, more, more hits on the quarter mile back-to-back -back before the ECU starts to back that performance off. So how is it working? Well, we've mentioned the coolant is going through here, but what's it actually doing? It doesn't look like a conventional radiator, does it? There's no airflow through the front. You can't see the, the veins on the radiator or the, the charge cooler that you may have had upgraded on your car from us already. It's a sealed unit. So how is it cooling the coolant? Well, it's a very clever system. You'll notice there's some extra pipe work on here. So we've got the coolant at the back. That flows in from one side and out the other. And on the front side of the supercharger chiller kit, you'll notice these different pipes. One's actually got a temperature thermostatic coil on there as well. This is where your vehicle's aircon gas flows in the opposite direction. So in this side and out the other, passing through, cooling the coolant. So a little bit like a heat exchange would work on your AC system. The front part of the supercharger chiller kit is a heat condenser, basically. So super cold gas goes in, expands, and it extracts the heat from the back side of the supercharger chiller kit that has the coolant flowing through. So as the coolant comes through, it gets colder and colder and colder as the gas is expanding from the AC the other way. So it's, it's a heat exchange. Something's going one direction, that's our AC gas, and our coolant's going the other way. So the benefit there is, of course, we're super cooling our coolant. And we're using a system that already exists on the vehicle. Effectively, we're adding an additional AC condenser on there. 
And we do this by connecting into the standard pipe work on the vehicle. So there's nothing additional added to the vehicle. There's no uh, additional switches and relays and all this kind of crazy stuff. This works as a passive system. So by default, a little bit of gas is always in there flowing through the system. It adds a little bit of cooling. So by switching your AC on, what that does is activates your AC pump and actually forces the gas through a lot faster, increasing the cooling properties of the supercharger chiller kit. So I said by default it's adding some cooling when the AC is not on. Turn your AC on and it starts to cool things down a lot quicker. So depending on how you're using the system, you may just want to use it in the summer normally to help keep your engine a little bit cooler, to get those supercharger intake temps a little bit lower. Well, your AC is going to be on because in the summer it's a hot day. This doesn't impact your AC cooling capabilities. So there's no negative impact on the ability to cool your car down or in the winter to heat it up. It doesn't put any additional strain on the pumps. We've mentioned about our improved upgraded supercharger cooler pump. But even if you've got the standard pump, it doesn't put any additional strain um, or loading on there because it's a small area of additional coolant channels. Small amount of coolant goes through there. In terms of the actual coolant level, when we top the vehicles up, we're looking at about 250 to 500 mil of additional coolant required. So as you can see, it's a very small amount of additional coolant on top of a car that already has several litres of coolant in there to begin with. So as I said, the system works in its passive mode. There is already gas in there from the AC system on the standard vehicle. By turning your AC on, it activates additional cooling by pumping the gas through much quicker. So some people will use this for quarter mile runs, for example. They'll have the AC on and they'll run it for 15, 20 minutes before they go to do their quarter mile pass. And of course, when you're doing a quarter mile pass, you want all ancillary systems turned off. So everything the engine's got, it's pushing through. Well, that's great. You've basically just super cooled your supercharger with our supercharger chiller kit. If you run it on the track, you have your AC on, one, benefits the cabin. It's much cooler, much nicer, and more pleasant to be in there on your track. 15, 20 minutes on a track day can get quite warm and uncomfortable in the cabin. With this on, you're running your AC and you're getting performance benefits because it's helping keep your supercharger cooler. And likewise with the dyno, by running this on there, we're seeing no real differences in the horsepower in terms of the AC drag on the vehicle. What we are seeing is those constant back-to-back -back runs from development point of view, obviously we do a lot of that here, but also from a performance and power reading point of view, you want to see what your car is actually running on the dyno. There's so many variables when it comes to temperature on a standard vehicle. By running this, it means you get consistent pass time and time again on the dyno to get a nice, consistent average horsepower and torque reading. The benefits of this, just are fantastic. Better cooling, doesn't interfere with any of the standard operating systems and just has benefits across the board. To find out more about this supercharger chiller kit, contact us, info at vizu.com. Call us 01789 77444 and find out how you can get this installed on your vehicle. Thanks for watching, everybody.